I love the fact that this thing vacuums while I can go do all the stuff. What's going on everybody? Today in RC Guy Garage, we are um, still kind of working on the Koopa Mini. Just doing stuff. So anyways, uh, I've been wanting to try out this product right here. So while HTRC has like products that are designed for... So this is the... Um, P10X2. X2, I'm assuming, is because this is a 12 to 24 volt battery charger and maintainer from HTRC. It does uh, lead acid, uh, LIFE, and lithium batteries, which is pretty good. It's pretty cool. So you got AGM, gel, and uh, regular. So, but I've been wanting. It's funny, is it looks like it's the regular charger, right? It looks like it's just like the regular charger. This does have one of those little protective peel-off things so I can peel that off. Um, but in here, this is a car charger, man, from HTRC. It has a super long cord, which is going to work out great. I'm not sure how long it measures out. Uh, I'm going to say it's like 8-foot cord because I can touch 8-foot. Yeah, it's like a 9-foot uh, cord. But it has a repair function, so it has a low, medium, high, and repair. This can also charge two batteries at the same time. And why does that matter? Well, because in my mind, diesels have two batteries, right? So hook up both batteries at the same time and see what happens. I'm going to try it. So while HTRC does uh, remote control stuff, they obviously do this stuff too. So I've got a look at this, huh? Garage, nice and clean, just about. So I do have a cord right here that I'm going to hopefully extend out here. Hopefully this is going to make it. Yeah, it will, because with the uh, nine feet of extra cord here, I think it's going to do it. Maybe. All right. Yeah, kind of makes it. So it's got a plug in the back. Doesn't matter which way it goes. Ah, you know what? Crap. <laughs> I'm gonna grab my uh I'm gonna grab my block heater one off of my truck. It's cold out, but it's it's fine. It's fine. Ah, now I now I know what Mo Earl Moorhead feels like when he's only always sniveling, sniveling. He's sniveling because he's cold. All right, so first things first, the uh, cord sheath, very weak. That ain't good. <laughs> you can get these cords anyways, but I think maybe because it's cold, it's not good. So that's kind of like a bad deal. But what I wanted to show you was I went to go ahead and start the mini this morning. Yeah, I know, guy. So watch, dead, all right, nothing. So I was like, what the heck? So I'm thinking, did I leave like some kind of like an interior light on or something? And again, I don't know. These BMWs, I thought they're like supposed to turn things off. But I went and checked with my meter here. So positive, negative. Checking on my meter here. I'm only at 8 volts, so that's why. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, charge this thing up so in here you got your battery connections you got two of them so you got two of these leads right here nice and long so you could put the like i said in a diesel you could put it into one put it the the put the charger in the center and then literally just go one battery to the other battery so but uh let's just plug this in bring this over here red to black black to red you know the deal. Nice alligator clips. Make sure you get a good bite in there. Yeah. Well, that's kind of tight in there. And you got a good bite. You got a power switch on the side here. Turn that on. And you can see it's off. So it says 9.7 volts. Uh, 9.1 amps right now. So literally it already went into charging this thing on high. Oh, that's nuts, dude. I didn't even have to press nothing. It's already doing it. 
It's got a fan on here on the back side to keep everything nice and cool. So what it does is it blows out the... No, actually the fan blows this way. Okay. So we'll see what happens here. I'm going to uh, just jump onto here real quick. To see what I can see. So I can see for voltage. Yeah, it's charging. It's already at 11 volts. So you can see right there, it's coming up. So we'll see what happens. Obviously, I'm going to have to um, check and see if there's an issue with the charging system. Uh, the car did sit for a couple of days, but. Uh, Maybe the battery is just junk. It is a BMW battery. And I think the sticker that would tell me what the age of the battery is, I think the uh, sticker is gone in it. So, yeah, look at that. 12 volts. Thing's cranking, dude. So, with the way this thing is, so we got 12.3 volts and it's pumping in 7.2 ish amps. Is that 42%, I think? 7.2 amps. So there is a repair function on here, too. And I think if the battery was really bad, uh, you could go ahead and use the repair function. But you have a low, medium, and high, and then repair modes that you can switch from. It's funny. It, like, automatically did it. So we're going to um, stop this right here. Let this thing do its thing. Look at this thing. It's already up to 12 and over 12 and a half. So this should automatically sense when to stop. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, 40. Oh, that is what it is. So the battery is at 42% charge. So we're just going to leave it like that. Uh, like I said, again, if you're not familiar with this uh, car, I almost said RC car. That is kind of like an RC car, isn't it? It's just a big version. <laughs> it's just a big version. These cars are actually fun, man. <coughs> so what's funny is I'm getting... There's a dead miss on this one, obviously, because this has got the burnt valve. And I'm getting um, a little something-something on cylinder number four. So, yeah. That's why I put the uh, ejector cleaner in there. Hopefully to see if, like, it could square some stuff up before I go ahead and pull this all apart. Now, initially, right? So, I've been looking at this thing. And I actually do not see... Wow, look at 13 and a half volts. I do not see why I've got to take off the front end. Yes, this does have... <coughs> Yes, this does have a turbo, but from what I think I see, we only got two motor mounts. We got one on that side, one on that side, right? And I think there might be like an intermediate kind of mount that stops them from rocking, you know, from um, talking. So talking like this, right? So there's got to be some mount that's intermediate somewhere. Um, most likely it's attached to the front. I'm not sure. I haven't even checked yet, but I should be able to release that motor mount, release that motor mount, maybe, or leave that one attached put a jack under, and kind of maneuver this engine around. I should be able to pull the head out of this thing, provided that I take off, you know, all of this garbage here. I'll take off that little air box thing, this air box. Uh, this is the air intake. Take that off. Clamps, hoses, wires, plugs, all kinds of garbage. But once I get this out of here, I'll be able to see what's going on. So I really don't think that I got to take apart this whole front end. Uh, I do know that I do have to take out this headlight because I can see over here. You kind of need to take out the headlight to kind of get access into this area. And then I also believe I've got to take off, not I believe, I, from what I've seen, I got to take off the front wheel and take off or maneuver the inner fender liner on this thing. And that is to go ahead and get the head off. I did replace the strut on this side. I did use the factory style uh, hardware. Um, I liked the factory style over the replacement hardware. Something that I noticed too is that the paint on this thing is already flaking. And that's because it's feeling, I think, feeling stress from the car. So, look at that. 14.5 volts. 42, still 42%. But it's, it's actually saying that's more than that. Yeah, look at that. The amps are going down. I don't see what the 40... It's, yeah, 14.6. 4.3 amps. 5 amp hour. 0.5 amp hour. 
Oh, 42 de- Oh, that was 42 degrees. Oh, that's weird. What's 42 degrees up? Wait a minute. Hey, Google. Hey, Google, what's the weather? Something went wrong. That's nice. What's the weather? <laughs> Garbage. Uh, I got the weather app on here somewhere. So you can see right there, weather. Oh, it is. Uh, well, 42 degrees maybe internally. <laughs> maybe that's what that is. It's 42 degrees in there. I don't know. All right, well, I'm going to let this do its thing. And then we'll be back and see if this actually works. And um, I will leave the uh, leads connected. I'll just disconnect it here so that I can see. Oh, wait a minute. Hello? Hey, sweetie. Yeah, my daughter's ranger didn't start this morning either. <laughs> what a mess. <laughs> the ranger not starting, I think, is because she never changed out of relays. So, uh, okay, I thought it was this that was beeping. I thought it was this that was beeping. So this was beeping just to shut off. So I'm going to go ahead and just turn this off for now. I don't need to be watching this, but we're at 14.56 volts. Um, 42 degrees, 14.6, and 3.5 amps. So pretty slick. Back over this thing, see how this thing is doing. You can hear the dogs wigging. Uh, 14.6, 2.3 amps right now. Uh, 2 amp hour. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see what this is looking at. 14.6. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens, man. It could be that this battery might need to be replaced. So we'll see. But I think uh, I got to tear this thing apart anyway. But like I said, I was just running some injunction cleaner through it. Trying to like clean up some of the, the garbage that was in there. Anyways, that's it. Should put the camera on her. <laughs> so you can go see what she's doing. So this um, charger thing is still charging up. Looking at 14.6. We're at... 80% charge, 14.6 volts, 2.3 amps. So it's still going through its thing. Um, we may, if this battery doesn't do its thing, may have to do like the uh, repair mode on this. I'm not sure what repair mode does, but whatever. <laughs> but uh, let's measure out one of these cords so that you know what you're getting into. So these cords measure out to be Let's see, so these cords, they're up there, these cords measure out to be the wire length from plug as plugged in, they're about, let's say 30, 32 inches, about 32 inches of uh, cord. So you've got uh, two plugs here, two things that are 32 inches. That works out great. Like I said, you got two, you got a diesel with two batteries. I think you can plug them at the same time. I don't see why that's an issue. Um, they are kind of connected, so that's the only issue because you'll like be plugging in two one battery unit into two. I don't know. I'll have to try it out. See what happens. This thing might catch fire. Who knows? Like I said, it's got this little peel-off thing there. I'm going to go ahead and peel it off. A little something on there. I don't know what that is. So, I had the screen peel off. What's up, buddy? Oh, buddy. You little cool boat. Hey, buddy. What's doing? Jealous? Huh? Jealous? Where's Haley? Haley! Where'd Haley go? Haley! Oh, there you are. What's up, girl? What you doing, Haley? Hey, honey. What you doing? Yeah. Hey, she's been eating something, huh? You acting like you've been eating something. You were. You were eating something. I don't know what you found to eat. There ain't nothing to eat out here. Right, I think that's, uh... That's where I'm gonna end this right now. Uh, I'll be back 
just to show you once this charger's done doing its thing once it's done doing its thing then we'll um i'll be back and, and we'll kind of like wrap this up so yeah i'll see you in a see you in a second bottom of this thing it actually did have a um owner's manual or a unit user's manual so it says it has a nine stage charging process so battery this must be for the um repair mode yeah it's for the repair mode so battery uh desulfication soft start charging bulk charging absorption charging trickle charge battery test and then reconditioning recondition charging float and maintenance charging and then a small current to maintain uh the charging uh, do not charge for the lithium battery without battery protection board bms uh how can you do that you can't do that that doesn't make any sense what do you mean bms you're bms with the <laughs> you're a bms uh let's see flooded batteries wet cells didn't say anything about charging time 76 hours <laughs> Uh, it's going to take a little bit, but whatever. I know it'll start right now anyway. Uh, charging time. Yeah, it just goes into a different language. So. Uh, my orders went out already today, too. So don't forget on the RC, get with the dogs? Hey. Oh, my God, I forget my dog's names. There you go. What you doing, Colby? You in there, buddy? Daisy, come on, what are you doing? Get out of there. Come on. What the hell are you into? You eating mud? Dude, are you that hungry? Daisy's over here eating mud. She was. She's eating something there. You can see her scratching. <laughs> Haley, come on. What are you doing? What are you doing, kid? This thing needs a little bit of a wash. It's going to get a wash and a buff. Oh, this company uh, reached out to me about um, cleaning products. Perfect, because... I'm going to give this whole thing a, a nice douche clean. <laughs> That's what it's called, guy. I'm going to give it a, uh, uh, I'm going to give it a buff and cut polish. Uh, who knows? We'll see. It's got some scratches right here, which I know that I can get out. You can see there's some scratches right there. I can know I can get those out. It's got some weird kind of thing right there I can get out. Uh, I already did kind of check out the hood. I was able to get out some of the scratches on the hood, so this thing was all scratched over here. I don't know what the heck this thing, but there are scratches that I can get out. Maybe a couple of them might be too deep like that one. A little, little deep, but we'll see. A little buffing compound. We'll see what goes on. Clean up the wheels. You know, the whole thing. I mean, yeah. Do I got to work on the motor first? Yes, I do. But in the meantime, I might as well shine it up because if the motor's a complete pile of garbage, once I pull that head off... A candidate for a new motor i did see a motor online i think it had like eighty-seven thousand miles on it i want documentation though eighty-seven thousand miles you know one of those craigslist motors eighty-seven thousand miles um and uh yeah it's a turbo s with the turbo and everything so but i need documentation to prove that it's got eighty-seven thousand miles so but uh i think they wanted like three grand for it so eh, it kind of makes this project a little bit rougher but if the engine proves out to be good um unless like i like i said unless i can fix this thing but won't know until i tear it down so but that's where we are, that's where we are. all right well you know how i am with like manuals and stuff right so i did open it up to the manual right and i was kind of just glancing through it i've got nothing else to do right now i'm just waiting but it says the charger has a memory function that will automatically select the last channel used the indicator corresponding to the currently selected channel is on, and the screen displays the information on the channel. It's funny. So what that means is that the last time I used this, I must have had it on a high setting, 
to go ahead and charge it. And it literally just did it all by itself, man. I thought that was pretty cool. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think this charger might be pretty cool. And I think it's funny. It's it's from the, the company, uh, HTRC. They do automotive. So, P10X2. Battery charger and maintainer. The maintainer aspect of it. I think the maintainer aspect of this battery charger is definitely going to be something that's cool because you can maintain two batteries at once. Now, the only thing is that obviously you have to make sure that the vehicles are within kind of like the right distance. So maybe if you had, you know, cars nose to nose or, you know, the parallel side of the car and if the battery was on the same side or whatever, but I'm sure you can figure it out. I think the... Um, 32 inches of cord that's you know close it's close so it's just giving you uh, a little under six feet between the two so yeah yeah what do you think Kate? Huh? what you hobbling what are you hobbling what are you hobbling girl what are you hobbling for huh good girl look at you little shop dog huh are you a shop dog you good girl yeah here you are where's the colby's colby Kobe, oh, there you are. What are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing, little Kobos? Huh, uh, buddy? Yeah. You're jealous. Yeah, I got the three of them out here. So that's one of the cool things about having... That's, that is definitely one of the cool things about having Pops, man, is that they keep you company. Like, you know, garage pets. So, yeah. I don't know, I'm just, I'm just giving you guys an update, just letting you know I'm still alive. And is the RC content coming? Yes, there is. If you haven't heard, Hobby Quarters in uh, Foxborough has the uh, Losi, the, what is it, the 16th scale? 116 scale Losi uh, 70 Chevelle SS's, both in black and blue. Black and blue. Black and blue! Oh! Yeah, I guess that's, uh, is that an indicator of Losi putting the hurt on the 16th scale of drag racing? So I am very interested in the 16 scale drag race. I think it would be probably pretty cool. So indoor stuff, right? So all right, back to this thing. Just because I'm kind of giving you a, a scenario of what I usually use. So this is my Schumacher battery charger that I have had forever. When I say ever, man, I don't, I mean, this does 10 amps, does two amps. It's got the voltmeter, DC amps. I just, yeah, this thing is hella old. I leave it out in the rain. The thing works. The little strap, carry strap ripped out. I'm going to fix that. Uh, this thing has been through hell and back. This thing has fallen, crashed. I was trying to see if, like, there's a way to find, like, a date code on this thing. So, yeah, I don't know, man. This thing is wicked, wicked old. I have had this for a billion years. Uh, but something that I did notice <laughs> right there. Looks like we got a little bit of a wiring issue. So I'm going to crack this open and I'm going to end up fixing that because those wires are coming real close to arcing out. And I don't want that to happen. Like I said, this, this charger I have had forever. It gets used and abused and it works just like the Ford over there. It starts and runs just about every day. <laughs> But at some point, with them wires being like that, it's not going to happen. I ain't going to let that thing die, man. I'm very abusive with my equipment. So if you want, like, uh, reviews, honest reviews, I'm your guy. Because I will literally tell you honestly, yeah, I leave all my stuff outside. All my tools get washed in the back of Big Black. Yeah, they do. Of course they do. Come on, pile washes. I leave them out in the wintertime. I make sure they're drained. Come on, guy. I am the user and abuser of everything. Actually, it was done when I did the exhaust. Come in, watch it start now. Oh my God. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs>